name Sean, Sean Murray. Everybody calls me Seanzo. Probably Black Flag in 80 or 81 at the Paradise. Me and Jake and Tony Perez and those guys rolled up on our skateboards and uh, Chuck Dukowski and those guys and Greg Ginn were like, oh, there goes the fucking neighborhood. What are you guys doing? You want to come have some McDonald's with us? So we went to McDonald's with the band. Probably the flight guys from New Hampshire. The early flight guys were fucking crazy. The band I wish I saw would probably be the Knack. Favorite skate pick of all time and still is stuck in my mind and I wish I hadn't thrown away that centerfold from Skateboarder Magazine, but it's Tony Alva, probably 76, doing a frontside carb grind at Wallows, going into one of the bowls. It just reeks of freedom. Fucking epic picture. Hair flying, no pads, scabby knees, fucking five inch wide skateboard, fucking hauling ass, rough cement, fucking just all-time picture. Freedom to the max. Government issue. And the reason is I really like their fucking sound and they're badass. I went and saw Pajama Slave Dancers and Government Issue at TT the Bears in like maybe like 83 or something? 84? 85? I don't know and nobody else showed up. The opening bands didn't show up. And they basically played every fucking song they ever knew since they were like six. And they played for two and a half or three hours. And they covered all the black market baby shit. And like, it was fucking amazing. It was the most amazing show I'd ever been to. After that, I was just like, fucking government issue is the balls. Probably Jake or Tony or Andy or Johnny Griff. The guys I grew up with in Marblehead. Johnny Griff was fucking gnarly. He was fucking gnar. Straight up and down. Six feet of vert. Fucking whatever. Backyard the surf pool in Clifton and shit. Fucking. He was amazing. Jake too was very impressive. Jake's fucking gnarly. My buddy Andy Strahan and Tony. Tony Perez. Super good style. Just great fucking skaters. That's my, my group of skaters, and I would have to say Johnny Griff or Jake's my favorite. The double record set by The Damned with the cake on the face on the cover. I can listen to that thing nonstop for the rest of my life. It's fucking perfect. The, the pine design. Got run over by a car on it. Jake ended up with it. It ended up on the other side of the street. I was in a coma for a while. Jake ended up riding it. He got fucking hit by a car on it, too. Mr. Saladino. Mine was blue. And I don't know if that was rare or what, but I'm pretty sure it was. Um, it was blue anyway. So if you know what anything about that, let us know. Uh, gangrene. No, wait. FUs, Minor Threat, Necros, SSD, and I think somebody else played too. Every band was fucking amazing. The crowd was amazing. The venue was amazing. It was five bucks for like five bands. Fucking super fun. Go have fucking fun. And go explore. Go find some shit to skate. Don't worry about the skate park so much. Don't worry about staying in your one spot your whole life. Just go have fucking fun. Do, like, whatever the hell you want. Get your head out of your cell phone and go do some shit. Barefoot Mike from Oceanside. Him and his bull. And his little dog and his mom. Fucking rule. That guy is no shit legit. Fucking coping, mashing barefoot motherfucker that's 50 years old and just loves to fucking skate and has the sickest little bull I've skated in a long time. Maybe ever. I 
think my favorite board graphic of all time is one put out by Bamboozle Skate Shop over in Salem, Mass. And it just says shithead on the bottom in black and white. I get them for my son a lot. Seems to fit. I'd say T.A., J., those kind of guys. J. Smith, J. Smith's laybacks. J. Smith's fucking amazing. His style's sick, too. I'd probably say J. Smith, T.A. Pretty much any Devo.